indeed. Sunset behind me, a beautiful sunset to start the day. Got the detector onto the gold. Right, first things first is I'm going to do a test with my gold ring right there. I've got it attached to some fishing line. And as it's uh, gold rings that we like to find, that's what I'm going to test out first. I'll probably do a more in-depth te test at another stage with coins and stuff as well. But for now, I'm just going to test this gold ring, dig a few holes at various depth, and see what the detector does with it. So I'm right at the water's edge. I'm going to dig my hole right here. And that's where I'm going to bury it. All right, so I'm going to go one full spades worth. It's a little digger. Right, the gold the ring's there, fishing line is out. See what the detector does and fill, fill that back up. That's a good few inches. Must be what, one, two, four, about seven inches that. So uh, see if we can pick it up. Absolutely no problem at all. Well, we've got there straight 16. Can we go deeper? All right, so I'm digging a deeper hole now. Filling up with water fast, so uh, deep up and get it. But as you can see, we've got a good pinpoint of length. What I'm going to do is dig another shovel's worth and then quickly drop the ring in there before it fills up with sand and water. Ready? In. Right. Actually, let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Okay, in goes the ring. That, so that's about nine inches. So I'm going to fill that up. Make sure my fishing line is out so I can retrieve it. There. Pack that right down. Okay, so here we go. Gold ring, nine inches. Absolutely no problem. A lot of mixed signals, though. But the tone is loud and clear. So yeah, a lot of mixed signals, but because it's more of a high-pitched tone, I dig that. That's nine inches. Right, so I made an amateur mistake of uh, not checking the area before I put the ring in. So there was actually some little line object down there, so I kept giving it like a minus six. So that might have interfered a bit, a little bit. Like I said, I'll do a more in-depth test another time. But even amongst that, whatever little bit of iron was down there, it picked that up at nine inches. So the recovery rate, impressive. The depth, Jesus, the depth's impressive. So, yeah, I think I'm going to like this machine. Yeah, like I say, let's go and find some uh, someone else's gold. I believe we have a pull tab. Ah. Deep, very deep. It must be about 15 inches or something. All for a bit of can top. Ah. There are no good finds on this beach. Ooh, what a lovely shell. Look at that. I never see shells like this wash up on this beach. Never. Been down here a fair few times detecting. And that's the first time I've seen this type of shell. Oh, I believe it's a live one by the looks of it. That looks like claws in there. Ah, uh, uh, it's moving. Um. Oh, it's a shame I would have kept that one. If it weren't a live one, let's get back, get, put him back in the water. All right, he's gone. Uh, got ourselves a bit of a high pitched tone here. What are we saying? 30, oh, 22, 32, 33. Let's have a look. Ah, I see something. What on earth is that? Is that a bit of lippy? No, not lippy. That's copper. Looks like there's a uh, hole that runs through it with a copper band as well. See so yeah, how that looks like there'll be a hole straight through there. Yeah. 
It is interesting. Any ideas on that? I'll give it a clean up at home. Okay, we've got a 12, 13. More of a straight 12 than a 13 there. Bull tab! Okay, I've dug a hole and there's something 24, 26, 27. It's a little bit erratic, but it's in here somewhere and it's out, so see what it is. Okay, there we go. In here somewhere. Looks like we have a coin. But what coin? Oh, it's got a. Oh, it might be a button. It's got some kind of pattern in the middle. Yeah, interesting. Quick clean up. Yeah, so it looks like some kind of little, uh, little medallion, little necklace type thing. Can't make out the right just yet. I have to give that another clean up at home and put a picture up and uh, see what that is. Yeah, interesting, nice find. Okay, next uh, target. 14, 15. Aluminium scrap. Well, another all ringing, all dinging tone. That was another 14, 15, and it was right next to the aluminium blob. So I thought it was going to be an aluminium blob, but it's not. Same range as an aluminium blob, unfortunately, but we do have a 50 pence piece. Which means now I am very happy because I've been here for about nearly three hours and I haven't had one coin, which is amazing when you think of it for a beach. But then this is a town where people have no money, so I don't expect to find many. Ah, we do have another coin. Looks like it's a 20 pence piece. Looks like. No, it's a 10 pence piece. There we go. Money's rolling in now. We have a two pence piece in the colour of red. Judging by the colours of these coins, they've uh, certainly been here a while. Probably since the summer. So yeah, not actually sure if it is a ring of some sort because the stuff that goes around the inside here is very soft. There's some kind of cardboard or something on the inner lining. So yeah, it's not a ring, but uh, it's a brass item of some sort. Right then, that be me lot. I probably could have gone on for longer. I felt like going on for longer, but I only put three hours on the parking today, so done three hours. Uh, not a huge range of finds. I thought I'd have a few more finds than I did, but a good range of finds. They'll be up here on the top right. And uh, yeah, happy with how it, how it was. It seems like a lot of chatter on the machine though. I did put my phone into aeroplane mode, which I think helped with that erraticness when I had it mid-air. But otherwise, it's probably just reading all the little tiny pieces of iron and crap that's in the beach, which is probably a lot of it. Um, yeah, pulled out some nice ones and we did that test with the ring and it found out nine inches down with some kind of iron grunt going on in there as well and I reckon it could have found that deeper. So uh, much deeper. So I'm um, impressed. Uh, right, so yeah, remember like and subscribe and all that good stuff and I shall see you in my next video. Peace.